Hey guys, it's Tori, and today I have my Breaches collection for you guys. I have five pairs to show you from a whole bunch of different brands, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. The first pair I have are my Carrots Icefell Tech Tights. Um, I really like these. They're just like a gray tight with like cool side pockets and stitching, and then they have like these little dots that are actually shaped like carrots. You guys can see they're actually like little carrot shapes, which is really, really cute. And because the brand is carrots, it's a good idea. And then they actually come all the way down. So they are kind of full seat, but kind of knee patch. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting design. Um, and the, that's the back and the front looks like this. So it's actually pouring rain outside. So I don't know if you guys can tell the lighting's super weird, but um, I really like these. They're super stretchy. They fit me really, really nicely. The only thing I don't like is you can't really tuck a shirt into them because they're so thin. They'll kind of show all the bumps. Plus, they also don't have belt loops. And typically, I don't tuck a shirt in without wearing a belt. So, these are great for, like, schooling on, like, really, really hot days. Um, or, like, hacking or things like that. Um, and they're also fairly inexpensive. They're, like, definitely under $100. So, if you're looking for like a cheaper schooling breach, I would suggest these. Now I have another pair of carrots and I would not suggest these really at all. Um, I think the main reason a lot of people shy away from carrots breaches um, is that is because they have weird sizing. Their sizing only goes from like an extra small to like an extra extra large. They don't have number sizing such as like 26, 28, 30. Um, which is annoying because it's really hard to tell because, you know, your size small is anywhere from like a 24 to a 27. So if you're a 24, they're going to be too big on you, but if you're a 27, they're going to be too small on you. So it's kind of frustrating that way. So, you know, if you're lucky that they might fit you perfectly, but it is hard to find a fit that works. I bought these about a year ago. I put them on the change room. I absolutely fell in love with them. I love the way they look. Um, they're really, really nice looking breech, but the second I got in the saddle, they were uncomfortable. They, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not the type of person that while I'm in the saddle, I like really pay attention to like what my breeches feel like, but I just find the fabric, it's not, it appears to be stretchy, but it's really not. Um, and it's kind of like movement restricting, so it's, Especially if you're trying to get up into your two-point over fences, it's a real struggle in these. Um, and I'm just not a fan personally. But like I said, they are pretty inexpensive. Um, they are they do retail in Canada for about $110, so they will be cheaper in the states. Um, and they just look like this. They are the these are the carrots crossover knee patch breeches. So they have a front zip, which I do like, and a thicker waistband, which is really flattering, and it actually comes higher at the back, which is great. Then they have these pockets here, and the pockets are actually the same fabric as the knee patches. And then they come down, and you have contrasting gray knee patches, and then just, they just go all the way down. They don't really have like a sock bottom or anything. And then the back just has a little carrot on the bell loop. They're not Euro seed or anything. They just are plain black all the way down. These, like I said, I would give these like, a four or five at a time because they are a really nice looking breech and if you can get them to fit you really well I think they would be good but personally they're just they're not the most comfortable to ride in is in my opinion so next I have probably my favorite breeches um, and I've always been a fan of Ariat breeches or Ariat products really in general um, and these are definitely well loved and you can see that by looking at them they have like some stains and things um but these are just the Ariat performer friends at knee patch breeches um these will all be linked down below if you guys want to go check any of these out but they just look like this they're just in tan they say Ariat right there and these actually have like a double closure so they have these little like slide clips and there's actually two sets of them so you can you know be guaranteed that they're not going to come undone um, they have, like I said, the front zip, and these pockets are really nice because they're very, like, streamlined and, um, they don't, like, puff up or anything when you're wearing them, but they actually have zippers, um, so if you are, you know, carrying things around at a show or something, um, it's great to have zippers because things fall out really easily. 
So these are great coming down. They just have like a lighter tan knee patch and then they have this like really stretchy material um, at the bottom just to make sure they really fit to your calf and stay smooth underneath your boots. And then the back, they have this little like V belt loop and then they actually do have a Euro seat, which I love. And they just look like that. These are amazing breeches. Now, the other thing um, you might want to be aware of is these are in a 26 regular and I have incredibly short legs and these are almost short on me. So if you are someone who is like average, that has like average to long legs, I would get them in a long um, length if you can get them like that because it may just be because mine have been washed several times. Um, not dry, but washed. Uh, I don't know if that would affect it at all and maybe they're just older, but they do seem shorter than your average breech, which isn't really a big deal if you're wearing tall boots or chaps. So I love these. They're super comfortable. They're stretchy. They're flattering. I just love everything about them. And those, I'm not exactly sure on price because I've had these for a while, but they are anywhere from $130 to $200. Next, I just have my tailored sportsmen's. Um, they are just t the tan um, knee patch ones, or yeah, tan knee patch side zip ones. I am not as big of a fan of the side zips, but they are substantially cheaper than the front zips. Um, tailored sportsmen's are wonderful. They're so flattering. They're so comfortable. I love how comfortable they are. Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of about Taylor's is the Velcro bottoms. This is something that they really need to kind of get with it and get rid of because they have this Velcro at the bottom, which no matter how it's done up, it will not lie flat under your socks and boots, which is really frustrating to me. And I don't understand why they have that, but whatever. Um, I also... I'm not a big fan of this whole side zip, side zip style. They fit me very well and they are true to size, but they um, are just, I find, a little bit baggy when you, like they're baggy in like the front when you sit down, which is kind of annoying. Um, but they just look like this. And they have a whole bunch of belt loops. They kind of have like an excessive amount of belt loops. And then they just have the tan knee patches. These are nothing too special. Um, these retail for about 175 to 200 dollars um but i would recommend taylor's 100 percent and my last pair i have to show you are my show breeches and these are brand new they've never been worn um they are my show breeches for this year and i'm really excited to wear them because they're probably my favorite breeches i own but i obviously don't ride on them on a regular basis so they are my favorite they're my favorite flat like favorite breach even though I don't really wear them. Um, so they are the Elation Platinum Brooklyn Knee Patch Breach, which is, I know, a huge name. Um, these are only really available in Canada. So for once, the Canadians lock out. Um, but I love these. So these are I purchased at Greenhawk, which is only a, is a Canadian store, but I do believe um, you can order from the Greenhawk website if you live in the States. So if you are desperate for these, I will, will link them down below. These are $139, I believe. Um, they are just like, they just look like this. They're gorgeous. They have this really, really thick waistband and they have the two slide closures as well. These still smell like leather tack store. They have these front pockets which have like stitching and these look like this and all around here has like tan stitching and all the way down as well. And then as you come down the leg they just have a knee patch. The knee patch is kind of like an off-white color which I'm not a big fan of. Um, and then as you come down they just have the sock bottom which is a great feature. So that is the front and then the back. They just look like this. They have, again, the tan stitching, and then they have back pockets, which are really nice. And they also have this, like, V seam here, and then the Euro seat, and then that seam just comes down the back.
These are fantastic brooches. Um, they are so comfortable. They're so flattering. They are very true to size. The length is great. I just I love everything about them. And these do come in color. They do come in beige, gray, blue, and possibly one other color. So. I am going to look into getting these in some schooling colors because obviously I'm not going to be wearing white on a regular basis, but I do love these. I love everything about the way they fit and feel and I think they are a really great brooch at a fairly affordable cost. So that is all for my brooches collection today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So all of these brooches will be linked down below as well as just the full names of them put in case you have to search a store that will ship to you. I am just about to film actually a what to bring to summer horse camp video so by the time you see this that might be up so if you guys want to check that out um, go ahead and click on my channel and maybe subscribe and watch all my other videos if you guys have some time. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!